let me tell you what we got going on today. everybody welcome to into my gt entertainment and i am joel today we are revisiting the jeep once more I told you i had a lot of stuff going on with it so today we are doing the hot head headliner from hot head headliners how about that um so we're gonna go ahead and uh get this started i'll show you what comes in the box and uh what you need and how you get the instructions so uh we'll show you that here in a second Okay, so what you get in the box is the actual headliner, bunch of Velcro strips. You have two different versions. You have this one right here is a long one that goes in the front and rear, and then you have the ones that go on the bars on the headliner themselves. I'll show you how all that works here shortly. You get an adhesive promoter, which is right there, and then you get this, which scan me. So when you do scan you, that, what it does, it takes you to their YouTube and shows you step-by-step -step instructions how to put it on. So we're gonna kinda do our own thing, but we use this as a guide. So the first thing that you gotta do uh, by the directions themselves is you need to have rubbing alcohol. This is what does not come into with the package. Um, you have to have your own, and the reason for that is you have to clean where you're dropping the Velcro strips, and then you use the adhesive promoter after that. So um, I'll show you uh, a little bit of going on with it and uh, we'll get this done so we'll see you in a second all right everyone so right now we're in the Jeep and I'm going to show you where you need to clean um, I'll show you the main one and then where you go from every other one after that so uh, let me flip this around and I'll show you real fast okay everyone so right here let me get my finger right right there I'll move my finger so I won't focus on it is your first part where you put the velcro you see that little flat spot um, you go ahead and clean that with alcohol put your promoter down and then your very first velcro strip the the solid ones the ones that aren't flimsy will go there and let me show you how the rest of them work with the other ones you want to clean every other one so the ones that are not attached to the frame like this one right here this one right here you want to put your strip in. You do not want to attach it to the ones that are already attached, right like that, because you want it to go on the fold. So these are the ones that fold up and crinkle back. So you go ahead and clean these the same way, and uh, we'll get started. And just to let you know, this is how the instructions go. Um, and he's gonna go through what I'm going through. Uh, so you can go to Hot Head Headliners and take a peek at their way of doing it since they are the people that have made them or you could go by the way i'm doing it either way or use both as a reference but uh just wanted to show you when you hit that little scan tool this is where it's going to take you so uh we'll catch you in the truck all right everyone there is the very first strip that i have put on and then uh just for notes when you're putting on the backing that comes off of it use that to push down on it it's a whole lot better on your hands so as you can see that is the first one and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start off with the rest of them and come back when I had these up all right guys so what you want to do is slide the top all the way back and then as it's coming back forward you want to stop it so you can get to this one bar that is sitting behind this so you sit there and you get the Velcro put on and then you fold it back all the way to the front and then you can go back and uh, make sure it's pushed in because right now if you try to do it, it's a little flimsy. So when uh, you do it the other way, when it's already spanned it out and closed, it's a whole lot tighter. So uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and get that done. All right, and as you can see, it is in there now and that's what's under the actual uh, bar, so. It's got up there. You just go over it 
you know, with that solophane, make sure it's tight up in there. And we'll move over to the back now. We're almost done with this project. All right, everybody. So back here, that um, promoter that came with the package, this is where you want to put it back here. And you want to start under these nipples. You want the Velcro to start under here and then go across all the way to the other side right there. But you definitely want to stay under those nipples right there. So you want it dry to the touch, which it is now. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, install that. All right, man. So there you go. It's under those things. Lines up all the way across. Back over to over here. So we'll go ahead on to the next step. Just wanted to show you how it needed to sit. Okay, so here is the headliner part now. Um, you have to feed it over there to the front. So if you have any questions, the front has those little dips in it right there to go around the corner of those right there. So right now, you gotta feed this yeah, this way and over and then get them stuck up, up over there. So we're gonna go ahead and get that started. Just to show y'all what I'm talking about, just have to feed it over like that so it to come around the front. So what you do over here is that you get it fed over and then you get this lined up with that one and make sure it goes around where it needs to right there on that block. So let me get this put up and I'll show you what it looks like. And then what you need to do is also what you did on the front. You need to do it to the rear. You just need it to hang over the back. And then we'll go ahead and get this tightened up. All right, everybody, when installing the front one, you have this groove right here cut out. You want to make sure it fits along that groove. And then you tuck this all the way up with your hands up to the corner like that. And then uh, it'll sit flat. And the same thing with this on this side. You want to make sure that you have it tucked around the corner. And then even out your space between the two, between here and here. And that'll set the um, how the top's going to lay. So yeah. All right, everyone. So what you want to do now is get this back piece. As centered as you can so you kind of want it to kind of flow over a little bit on the edge but you don't want to push it in because it wants to lay there um, and then what you do is to flatten out the headliner as you can see it just kind of droops at the moment you need to find your velcro which is pretty much on these seams right here let me get a better look here we go on those seams so what you want to do is grab down on one side smooth to that side and then do the same thing on the other side over here and then as you can see it will lay flat so let me go ahead and finish it up and see what you think all right everybody so this is what it looks like it's now a headliner in the jeep not too bad of an install so let's roll it back and see what happens and there it is with it all rolled up and it doesn't take up any more space than it did before because it's sitting inside of it so let's roll it back and see if we have any issues sorry for the bonging but as you can see it's rolling back in and it's set and it's sitting up where it needs to So yeah, that is it. What y'all think? All right, everyone, so that's what it pretty much looks like. I'm gonna go take it for a drive now to see that it is okay, not making any weird noises, doing whatever. And I will get back and close out this video afterwards. But as you can see, it does add a finishing look to it. And uh, if it does what it says, it would be all right. So uh, we'll see you in a bit. 
All right, everybody, so after taking the first ride with it, it's definitely nice. I think it changed the way the audio sounds in this truck because uh, it's a little more bassy and a little bit more crisp, I guess, because it has something to soak up some of that extra noise. So um, that's one benefit for the acoustics. Um, Sound-wise, I really can't tell you because I don't drive it that much. So, um, but aesthetics, it looks really good. It, it looks like a normal headliner. Um, and like I said, when it opens and closes, it doesn't really make any noise and um, any more than it did before. So I give it, I give it a thumbs up so far. So I'll have to reevaluate it after, you know, a month or two of it just to see if the Velcro still sticks good and if it starts to loosen up or whatever. But for the initial, it's not bad. It's not a bad thing. And um, like I said, I don't know how well you could see it, but it almost looks like a factory headliner right now back there. So uh, not bad, not bad. So when I get back to the house, I will close out this video and add any bullet points that I need and we'll be done. All right, everybody, so that is everything that I'm doing with the headliner today. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. And like I said, it is Hothead Headliners. If y'all want to look it up, I have uh, a uh, sticker on my refrigerator now because, you know, that's where my part stuff goes. So let me show you that. There's the website. If y'all need it, I will put it in the description. Uh, we're going to go ahead and rock it and see how it does. And I hope y'all have a great day. Like, subscribe. Y'all know the deal. And uh, stay tuned. Got a couple more things I've got to do there. And uh, maybe we'll start some more Mustang stuff. So see you next time.